Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mendoza. I want to show you some stuff that will help you in the field. Uh, you know, it's very important to organize your claims and also to map them. So, for instance, uh, I, I went to the last two uh, hurricanes and the first one they gave me 70 claims all at one time. Uh, the second one, uh, a total was like, let me see here, 60 claims. Okay, so when they're giving you that many claims, it's real, real important that you organize your schedules. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a way where you can uh, map your claims. Okay, so here's a bunch of the claims. Uh, my last one. I've already changed the name, so there's no names or no uh, policy issues because uh, these are just fake names. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of ways that you can view your maps once you uh, go in and uh, <clears throat> start creating uh, your schedules. So as you see, there's different ways of, of viewing it. So this is the, one of the simplest ways I like. And then you can even go in here and change this color so that since blue and green almost match, I, I'll probably do this to it. That way it's real easy on finding uh, your claims. So you can easily do this, okay? Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with, with this map. From, okay, so there's uh, 60 something claims here, right? So on October the 9th, I, this is what I, the claims that I did, okay? Now, uh, fortunately, this particular carrier that I was working for, or uh, IA firm, they didn't dump all 60 claims at one time. Uh, unlike the other people, they dump 70 all at one time, and it's not fair to me or to the client because, you know, you can only do so many a day, especially if you're going to be dealing with large losses. So, so this shows me the route that I'm going to take for, which I've already did, in October the 9th. It tells me, you can go in here and tell it, okay, um, so the whole day took me one hour and 55 minutes on the road. And so from the first claim to the second claim, well, the, from, the, from my hotel to the first claim took 24 minutes. See right here? Then if you go in, the next one took uh, 59, uh, 58 minutes, which was 45.4 miles, and then... Uh, then from there, the next one only took me 16 minutes. Then from there to my house, only, you know, actually, the last one to get home took me 16 minutes. So when I'm routing this stuff, um, I want to make sure that uh, I do it systematically. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. So you get a bunch of claims, and... Uh, the first thing I do is I create an Excel file. But all these names, guys, are all names that don't even make sense because I've changed the names of every, you know, for to protect the insured, not not just the insured, but you see claim rep. I used to have all their names right here, every single one. In addition, if you notice on this Excel file, it, I. I uh, Here's all the endorsements. It's very, very, very important that you know this endorsements inside out. Now, at the beginning, this was my first time I've ever done TUIA. So it took me probably a week and a half to memorize all the uh, endorsements. Now, uh, so if, you know, let's say that if I was going to go do this guy tomorrow, you know, you can easily highlight this so that you don't, you know, when you're going in and you're trying to find out what you're getting into tomorrow or the next day, you know, you you can go in here, you, you know, there's the 
uh, insurance email address, the claim wrap. Uh, did, did they provide you a legal view? Yes or no? Uh, did you contact the insured? Eventually, everything should say yes. Was it a TUIA or an uh, FTPA? Um, you know, you, you need to know all that information. And so one good thing is when you highlight it temporarily, you can always go up and down and not figure out, oh, which one was it that I was looking at? And then you can, you know, uh, you know, you, whenever there are certain things that you're going to have to put into uh, exact analysis or your, um, uh, let's say, your GLR, and when you first open these things. So let me let me let me show you something. <clears throat> so what I do is I go in and create a folder, and when I click here, and I have four monitors going, so. Uh, it went into a different monitor. Now, inside that each claim, I automatically create, a, and this is all done, uh, it, it's real easy. It's not like I, I make a folder here, I make a folder here, and I put in this information. It's all done. Uh, mm, I, I have a procedure that I follow, but uh, it's real easy. You know, you just copy and paste. But So, you know, this is where all their photos will end up, uh, you know, where they end up. Uh, these are the claims that I upload. There's my GLR. Uh, you know, here's my Eagle View. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> so it's real good to organize this so you don't have to keep on going to exact analysis, especially, you, as y'all are aware, when you're, you know, you get into those areas where there's no connectivity, you want to go ahead and upload everything. So with this Excel file, and I have a lot of um, a lot of videos that show you how to create this. This is really, really simple. Once you learn the procedures, it's real, real easy. So let's go back to the uh, <clears throat> to the map now. So. And I already show y'all how to do this, but I'll show you real quick, just in case you haven't seen my other videos. This is real, real, real simple stuff. Okay, so you know you, you're gonna have a um, a list. As they come in, you're gonna create this list. It, it's gonna tell you, uh, for instance, <clears throat> you know you're you're filling this thing out as you go. Uh, so let's say. I might put myself a note here that uh, out of town, and then uh, it may be withdrawn. Or uh, I can, I can, even though we're we're making an inspection date, I always write myself schedule time only. In other words, I always ask them, hey, if the t you know if I finish with all my claims earlier, can I contact you? Or if I'm there, you know. Uh, Three days early, can I call you because sometimes people schedule or, you know, we allocate so many hours per person and sometimes it doesn't uh, take that much to do their claims and I could be around the corner. Can I call you? So I, I, I make myself notes if I'm, uh, if I'm allowed to call them or not, uh, you know, maybe. Uh, Maybe at 4:30, she's a school teacher. Ensure they explain that the claim is done. You know, a bunch of little notes that I write myself. Also, I always, always, always write down when I contact the insured, the inspection date and time. Okay, so when I'm going through this, so let's 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 say that um, that I, it's October the 9th, 2021. Okay, so there's my schedule for that day. Okay, and uh, so let's say that I finish way, way, way early because I allocate three, a minimum of two hours, especially if they're next to each other. Okay, but because uh, I always sketch everything on site, I never write any. Thing on a piece of paper, everything sketch on site. I don't care if it's one room or 
10 rooms or 15 rooms I sketch on site. And I don't close it on site because I want to make sure I take my time on that. Okay, so so let's say uh, that I finish early. And so you see, this is my last one. Okay, so if if I you know if I search for eight uh, Adrian I, and those are these are just weird names that I just picked. Okay, so D. Okay, and and also watch how I navigate. So I'm gonna put my mouse right here. Everything is gonna enlarge. It's gonna go up, and, and and this will stay right here. Look look at this. You see where my mouse is now. If I if, Oops, uh, control Z. Uh, so, so if I move this guy over to the center, I put my mouse right here, and I keep on enlarging, it pretty much stays in the center. So let's say that's my last one. And the only reason you see it continuing is because it's going to take me back to my, uh, to my hotel. So now look where I'm at, right? This is the last one that I'm doing and so uh, if if I went into my Excel file I would know exactly the time that that uh, so let me see something so this is uh, October the 9th I would go to October the 9th see right here so um, inspection October 9th then 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 I would find the time so October the, the last one is at 2 p.m. I still got a lot of time, and a lot of times, 2 p.m. is probably 1 or 12 o'clock because I allocate a lot of time for this guy. So let's say it's 12 o'clock, and you still have a lot of energy, and you know you can close everything. It's really real important that you close that day. Um, so you can click here and say, okay, uh, cold wood. You know. That, and remember, these are just weird names. Uh, or this guy here. You see how close they are to to this guy. Not just that. Look, it, uh, those are fake numbers. You see, one, two, three, four, five. You know, those are just fake numbers. Uh, but it gives me the the not the date. Okay, and excuse me, the number, the telephone number. So wh while I'm here, either me or my wife will call. And well, be, sometimes I'll I'll be on top of a on a roof, and then I ask, "Hey, Elizabeth, will you call this guy or call this guy?" The first one that says yes, let's go ahead and and tell him that we might be there. Uh, we could be there in thirty minutes. This guy might not be available. This guy might not be available. Remember, I still have to go down this route right here. So this guy hasn't been inspected. So I might call this guy. And one of one of them is gonna say yeah, because these guys want to get their work done. Uh, probably eighty percent of the time, the first one we call is gonna say yes, even the second one. But nevertheless, uh, you know you can do more than what you have uh, scheduled. Okay, so now you know, and another good thing about this mapping. So let's say that. Uh, we're we're on September the 9th and here's my schedule right I can add another address to this schedule now uh, this address is gonna be way way far I just want to show you an example so let's let's just put an address uh, uh, I'm just gonna put that address right there okay now from from here, it's going to tell me how to get to that last location. Okay? So, um, you see, it's way up here, F. You see, it, it goes A, B, C, D, E, F. So, I actually could have done that one. And from there, if I wanted to see how far it is to my location, I can add another destination and just put, you know, because I always put my addresses there. So, uh, so this is where I'm my hotel is so if I click there you see it shows you where G would be is from here to here anyway there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that you can do with this uh, uh, software 
uh, I'll, I'll put out some more videos because I don't like to make my videos wait uh, you know real real long so if you like this video put your thumbs up and I hope you're a, a subscriber thank you for watching my video